Hello my friends, how are you doing? This month I have created for you the Artistic Light Leaks pack. Here is a little teaser how it works. BAM! And we are back in Affinity Photo, where I show you how to use this and how to in general work with light leaks to get really beautiful results. But before we get started, I have something really amazing for you. Because of the Corona crisis, I thought I want to support you. I want to give back to you. So I bundled up all of the pro packs that I created so far and reduced them by 75%. And this is a lot of stuff in here. So have a look. Um, these are 12 different pro packs, which are the biggest version of the packs that I create. And in the bundle is the Artistic Light Leaks kit for this month, but also the Laser Delight styles, which are 110 different styles, the Glorious Light pack, the 90 Mythical Gradients, the Winter Wonderland pack, the October bundle, then 15 mock-ups for Affinity Photo, 40 landscape styles, 50 portrait effects, 80 LUTs for Affinity Photo again, 65 slideshow designs and 27 brushes. So that is a lot of stuff that I've created over the last 12 months. All of this is included in a bundle, 75% off. So all of this together is just $29.99 to support you to give something back to keep you entertained while you have to stay at home. Now, if you have bought the Black Friday bundle that I have created last year, I created another version of the bundle. You, you will find it under the same link. And this only has the pro packs I've created since the Black Friday bundle. So these are the Artistic Light Leaks Kit, the Laser Delight Pack, the Glorious Light Pack and the Mythical Gradients Pack, all of course in the Pro version, all together for just 10 bucks, like I said, 75% off of the normal price. So that should keep you entertained through the crisis and I'm really happy I can support you and give you something really cool to play with. Okay, but now let's have a look at the Light Leaks pack and how to use Light Leaks in Affinity Photo in general. So you can see here we have a beautiful picture, but we want to play around with that a little bit. When you use this pack, I would suggest that you set your document to 16-bit. And that means go up here to Document, Convert Format and go from RGB 8 to RGB 16, which means you have a bigger color range and smoother pictures, no color banding, stuff like that. Okay, so first of all, like I said, I created overlays. There is of course a free online course included that shows you in detail how to install the gradients, the colors, the styles, and also create the assets bundles here inside of Affinity Photo. So you can see we have four different categories. We have simple ones with just one color with a bit of a gradient. Then we have duo color, which have these kind of squiggly forms. We have motion, which have a motion blur on them, give beautiful effects. And we also have um, various shapes. They are more artistic, more a bit crazy, but also an inspiration of creating your own um, variations of your overlays. So let's, for example, look at this motion um, variation here. So we can, for example, use this one. Let's drag this in. You can see pretty high resolution. We can zoom out and resize that, of course, if we want to like that. And now the only thing you have to do is to set it either to screen or to add. And you can see already pretty cool effect that you have here. So that's very nice. And one thing I want to point out here is if you feel like the effect is a bit too strong, it's too bright, don't go with opacity because you will see that doesn't look good. That's not how you edit this. So what you need to do instead is to apply a curves adjustment. By the way, if you have an older version of Affinity Photo, there might be an error. And I also point this out in my online course where you snap this. Um, to your layer that you get a bright, ugly edge here. So if you get that, 
Go to your curves adjustment layer and up here set the blend mode to erase and then you won't get that kind of effect. And now you can see if I double click on my curve, it will only influence this overlay and you can see that I can reduce the effect, I can dim the effect and it's, or it can also brighten it of course, and it's not going to influence how the colors look. So um, it doesn't make it look bad, it makes it still look pretty cool. Okay, so you can see you can use this and it's a lot of fun, it's super easy to use that. And you can also click drag to duplicate that. So you can see if you want to have your own versions, if you want to make variations like that, you can resize that. You can also go up here and this is interesting. Um, you have this middle point here, for example, and you get when you mouse over that a little bit above this point, you will get these two arrows that point to two sides. So if you move that, you can see I can skew it to the sides and I also can skew it up here on the sides in this direction. And this will allow me to really bend the shape into anything I want. Another thing that I wanna show you, that's pretty cool that you can do, is um, let's make this a little bit bigger like this. And because this is a pixel layer, you can go over here on the left side to your warp tool. And now I can warp this. You can see I can bend this in any kind of direction I want and get some really strange, interesting effects. Maybe that's not the best one, but for example, I can bend it up like that, which looks a little bit like a flame, very motionful. So you can see like also following the form that we have already in the picture. Maybe we can rotate that, uh, put it around the head, like the hair, stuff like that. So you can do really crazy things with this crazy light leaks that wouldn't be possible in real life, but you can do some amazing cool things with that. And these are just the overlays. We have a lot more stuff to play with here. So for example, I have created these swatches. So you have gradients and you also have colors. So let's look at the gradients first. And the gradients work in combination with some styles that I have created. They are just starting points to give you an inspiration. How do you use them? Well, on the left side, you can select any of these shapes. Let's start with the rectangle shape. Very simple. So we drag this out and then down here for the styles. And again, I will show you in my online course that's included with the pack, how to install the styles. Don't worry about that. Um, you can click on these and these will set them in the right modes. You can see here, it has a blend mode of add and it also has some Gaussian blur applied to the layer. There's another one with screen, which is titled here screen. And then I have two more. These are for the gradients that have this kind of light line in the middle. And then there is the other one, where's the gradient where this comes softly from the side, which works great with these round gradients that I've created. Okay, cool. So let's start with this. And you can see, I can simply cycle through these different gradient colors I've created and see what is cool, what do I like, what is kind of inspiring me. Is there something I want to use on my picture? And you can also mix them with each other. So for example, I say, I want to have this cooler light over here. And then I uh, press control, click and drag to make a copy. And then I switch over to another color like this, for example. So now you can see I have two different colors and it looks pretty cool. And I can do this again over here make this a little bit smaller, maybe switch it to another color like that. Or let's see, what else could we do here? There's a, a violet one. We can stretch this a little bit out, make another copy of that, set one down here as another copy and give this another gradient. Yeah, let's go with this one. And you can see in seconds, you have created your unique style. This is why I call this a kit. Here you can build your own light legs. And this is what I wanted for you to be, to have this kind of artistic freedom. It's so much fun to play with that. Now, I told you that I also have created these kind of colors here. So what are you going to do with this? Well, let's hide these for a second and let's create a normal pixel layer like that. Good. So. Here is some secret sauce. Here's some really cool thing you can do with that. Take your paintbrush, set it to a soft color, um, make it a bit smaller, it's a bit too big. Like that is good, okay. 
So flow is at 50%, uh, opacity 100%, and here's the thing. Set the blend mode to either add or screen, because this means that the individual strokes will interact with each other. This doesn't have anything to do with the blend mode of the layer. This is the blend modes of the stroke. So let's set it to screen, for example, and then we set our layer also to screen down here. Good. And now I would suggest start with a dark color and then over time go to brighter colors because this is how it works best with this kind of screen blend mode inside of the brush. So let's start with a dark pink and paint. Let's make it a little bit bigger maybe and paint a little bit over here like that. And then we can go a little bit brighter like this, for example. That's good. And then maybe add some red down up here. We have some red. We can go in here. You don't always have to paint everything. Just make a little bit of strokes here. There we have some blue that we could put in here lightly. And then we can go brighter. Let's say we want to have some orange down here like that. And you can see you're painting step by step your very own, let's go a little bit smaller, a very own light leak here, light leak effect, if you want to. So you can see this is easy. It's a lot of fun to do that, play around with that and see what you can do with that. And we're not done yet. Of course, you can apply all your filters to that. So let's go up here to filters blur and say motion blur. Let's make a little bit of motion blur here, not too much. And we can also still, of course, move this around. So let's stretch this out a little bit and move it a little bit back and maybe duplicate this effect, make the second version a bit smaller, drag it out like this. And you can see we have created our very own genuine kind of light leak up here. And like I said, you can move this around, you can rotate this, I can put this up here in the side wherever I feel like it should be. And also, like I said before, you can still go in here and click on warp and then warp this into the strangest forms into kind of very interesting light legs. For example, you can see here, this immediately just playing around with it a little bit gives us a really cool, interesting, different kind of effect than we had before. Let's hit apply. And there we go. Uh, here, down here, it's a little bit on the hard side. I will show you how to blur that. Let's go in here, undo brush. There we go. Blur, big brush. Go over this a little bit and you can see I just paint over this a little bit to make this really blurry. And there we go. This hard edge is now a blurred edge and it looks pretty cool. So we have created this effect and of course, you can do a lot of other things. And another thing that I want to show you, like there's so many things you can do with this, really crazy. Um, let's keep this. And then I'm going to do a rectangle, pull it over everything, and then click on one of these colors here, like that. And now I can set it to, for example, soft light. And maybe that's not the right one. These are all too dark. That one is nice. That one harmonizes really nicely with the colors. I can reduce a little bit the opacity so you can see um, this is the before, this is the after. So it makes the all of the picture a little bit cooler. And now when I play with my effects I've created before, let's lock this real quick so we can click on this one. You can see we can do some pretty cool stuff here like that where we have a nice effect inside of our image, just like that within a seconds. Whoop, that's a bit too much maybe. There we go. Put this up here. And there we go. You can see, you can do really cool things. You can of course play around with your own light leaks that you can download online, maybe search on Google for them or create your own gradients with colors. And like I said, there is a free version you can download to get inspired, to get started, to see how this works. And it's a lot of fun. It's super playful. Yeah, check it out and take advantage of the bundle. Thank you very much and see you soon. Bye.